Let me start by answering your first question. Is spermidine what I think it is? No! Get your head out of the gutter! Spermidine is not a sperm supplement, but it is proven to reduce aging and increase your lifespan. And in this video, I'm gonna be explaining what spermidine is, how spermidine works to increase longevity, and if spermidine is actually safe and effective. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to go out and reap the benefits of almighty spermidine. First, g'day legends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jesse Crow, and I'm the traveling scientist. Currently living here in Melbourne, Australia. And on this channel, we explore scientific ideas and techniques to help you live a smartier, smartier, smarter, happier, healthier, and longer life. So what the heck is spermidine? Spermidine is an organic compound that's naturally occurring in the body. And spermidine was originally isolated from semen. That's where it gets its name, sperm adine. Spermidine is also found in certain foods, so you can get it naturally. And you don't need to take a spermidine supplement to get the potential health benefits. So how does spermidine help us live longer? Spermidine works sort of similarly to rapamycin. That's another longevity drug that I made a video all about. You can check that out just up here. But spermidine mainly works by mimicking the effects of caloric restriction, inducing autophagy. And autophagy literally translates to self-eating. And this is the natural breakdown and recycling of cellular components, basically renewing old and dysfunctional cells. So autophagy helps to maintain healthy tissues and organs, which reduces and even reverses the hallmarks of aging. And it's all stimulated by sperm. Edine. Spermidine. Spermidine also stabilizes changes to the epigenome, helping to maintain our DNA, and it also reduces inflammation, protecting our body from damage. So let's look at the research into spermidine. Some drugs are only tested in mice, so we're not sure whether they would work in humans or not. Spermidine is not one of those drugs. And a great example of how it works comes from a study published in 2018 that spanned over 20 years and over 800 subjects. Aged between 45 and 84, both male and female subjects, they consumed different levels of spermidine as scientists monitored their health and also their mortality. After 20 years, the results showed that subjects with higher levels of spermidine lived longer. And the study concluded that a diet rich in spermidine was linked with increased survival in humans. Spermidine also appears to boost brain function, and this was proven in 2021 in a study that looked at 85 older human subjects, and they found that the subjects with high levels of spermidine in their blood were associated with better cognition and improved memory, while subjects with lower levels of spermidine in their blood were associated with cognitive decline and dementia. So how can you increase your spermidine level? Now there are many drugs out there that are believed to increase lifespan, like rapamycin and metformin, but these drugs aren't approved for use in humans, at least not for the purpose of longevity. So you can't just go out and get these drugs. Spermidine, however, is naturally occurring in the body. So you can go out and purchase a spermidine supplement and take it safely without having to worry about side effects. I mean, don't take like a million of them. I'm not a doctor, but that's probably too many. A daily dosage of one, two, or even five milligrams should be enough to give you the health benefits to help you live a longer and healthier life. You can also get spermidine naturally in your diet. And good dietary sources of spermidine include aged cheeses, soy products, and wheat germ, as well as legumes, mushrooms, and peas. And spermidine is plentiful in a Mediterranean diet, which would make sense. Those guys live forever. Unfortunately, spermidine levels do decline naturally as you get older, oh, no. so you need to maintain a healthy diet or take a regular spermidine supplement to get those health benefits. And just to clarify, spermidine comes from wheat germ and soy products, not from sperm. Okay? Good. Just making sure. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about spermidine, chuck them in the comment section down below, or maybe you just want to say hi to Ari. Put it in there, and uh, next week's video is going to be all about some other epic life-enhancing drug. So make sure you subscribe. Oh, see you later. Catch you in the next one. Cheers. They found that higher levels of spermidine in the bud, the bud. So autophagy helps to maintain. Oh my god, this is so many times. Comes from a study in 2018. If you enjoyed this video. I'm sure it's in there somewhere.